Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It really feels like team of the season now in FC24. After EA started Premier League Tots yesterday with a bang. We have decent pack weight, guys, and so many cards and packs. It feels like team of the seasons are literally just everywhere. The market's going crazy, but not everywhere. And there's some investments we need to make because of where the market is at. And I want to talk about the big leaked SBC that could be coming today. Guys, there's so much to go over after yesterday's Premier League, Women's Super League, and the first mixed league release of the team of the season. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's start with the SBCs. There was a lot of SBCs yesterday, and I think actually, if I'm being honest, the SBC section is where I think we were lacking some of the quality of the content if i'm being honest we have the julian alvarez sbc which is not a bad sbc four star skills five star weak foot high high work rates the replay style plus is power shot chip shot and first touch plus i think when i look at this card though and i look at the team of the seasons that are in packs i think this card would not be that expensive on the market i mean it is a good card and he's always very good in this game with the left stick dribbling in and around the box people have evolved the versions of julian alvarez since the beginning of this game cycle he is good my i'm doing the sbc because i was opening so many packs yesterday i had nowhere else to put them and i didn't know who to do except for julian alvarez so i started doing this sbc it's only 300 and what's the price Three hundred and ninety-eight thousand coins so i think because of the price being where it is it's a nice sbc if this card was on the market how much would he be Probably around this much after looking at this card with replay style pluses, the rest of the teams and packs, he wouldn't be that expensive. It is a solid player SBC for sure. There's really not too much to say about it besides it's just solid. It could have been better. I wish it would have been five star skills or maybe had a little bit better stats, but if it were, it would probably be more expensive. I'm sure he's good in game. I'm excited to try his card out a bit. And that's why I started off with the SBC yesterday instead of doing maybe an icon or anything along those lines, just started with him. Now we had two player SBCs yesterday, Women's Super League, Katie McCabe from Arsenal, left back card, four star, five star as well, five foot five. She is actually pretty cheap as well. She has 125,000 coins to do with three play style pluses, of course. Not a bad card. Um, one thing I do want to note with this McCabe is she has a requirement. Check this out. Any team of the season or team of the week player requirement in this um, SBC three different times in the 84, 85, and the 86 rated squad. So there it is for the first time in any TOTS. So a live TOTS, TOTS moments, or a regular team of the season player, or a TOTS plus card. We've got all the card designs and types now in team of the season on this game. They all work to fulfill that requirement or a team of the week. And actually, we saw team of the week prices rise a little bit yesterday. But now one thing that I'm going to be watching very carefully on the market now is if team of the weeks, they were 30,000 coins. What are they right now? If team of the weeks are 30 to 31,000 coins, but for some of these SBCs that are coming out now, you can use team of the season cards in them to fulfill that requirement. Team of the season cards are going to be a lot easier to use and cheaper. Team of the seasons, the cheapest ones on the market are 18K. So I would be careful with informs, very careful with informs because I could see those dropping soon. I know there's still other SBCs that require just informs for right now, which could mean they have a little bit of value and maintain a little bit of that, but probably only on the higher tier. We'll talk a little bit more about that towards the latter part of the video. But let's go through a couple of the other SBCs that we had. I mean, what's up with these random showdowns? I'm not complaining. I'm just like, I don't know what's going on here. We had Henrique and Isak Torre. The coolest thing about this SBC showdown is Isak Torre is a six foot nine center back. You might remember his uh, card last year. He had a striker version during the out of position promo in FIFA 23. Here he is again, six foot nine center back. And yes, he does have aerial and power headers. So might be a fun card to put a striker and try to score some headers. I don't know. Um, it is a showdown, boys, but it is not for a real life game. It is for the E League One Uber Eats Grand Finals between FC Lawrence and Lyon. So to me, a left back with technical plus also doesn't make a whole lot of sense unless you're going to play him left mid as well. But hey, that SBC is there. If you want to do it, you go ahead and do it. Last two things to point out. We had an upgrade pack yesterday released. It was the 77 plus Premier League and Women's Super League double upgrade pack. And you know what? I didn't do a single one of these yesterday. What are the requirements? Uh, it is three rare golds and 11 golds. 
I think this is a pass. You're turning in 11 golds to get um, two players back, specifically from the leagues with the team of the season cards and packs. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that. I think right now I would still, I would still be using the 80 plus player pick. That's the way to go for upgrade SBCs. The, the longer that this is out, the better. That's going to be the one to do until we get the team of the season SBCs that we had during team of the year, like the league specific upgrade packs where it gives you 11 players from that specific league. Those are going to be the ones that we'll want to do, but we don't have those yet. We just have these 80 plus player picks. We also had the Tots Challenge SBC. Can't skip over that. Rare election players pack a tradable opportunity at packing a team of the season now let's get out of sbcs again arguably kind of just a mid place yesterday and let's go to evolutions because there was a good evo dropped yesterday it was the premier league tots evolution and the way they're naming these things makes it seem kind of like it could be cyclical right like next week maybe we'll have a bundesliga tots evolution you know same thing with some of the objectives we're about to look at too here it is premier league tots it gives three play style pluses the maximum overall is an 84 rated card to put into this so it's very low but you get a huge boost it's like plus eight pace plus a uh, 10 or 11 shooting you get plus i think it's like eight physical um eight dribbling eight passing and six defending and power shot rapid first touch and then a weak foot boost as well so you can create some really really good cards from this now personally there's not a whole lot in my club that i look at right now and i say man i gotta get something into this evolution this gakpo card does look pretty good and i love that the evolution is free it is a big w because of that and the games is it all in squad battles it's um four champions matches so you have to play a little bit of champs as well um it's not that many games to play and maybe it's an evolution where you don't i mean look at the rating boost here though you go from an 83 to a 92 and a lot of that rating boost happens with the very first section so i don't know who i'm gonna put into this maybe there's a silver card that i'll boost up to try to get him into this and then try to mini i don't know like it just you have to put a player in with zero play style pluses it has to be a premier league card and you get three play style pluses out of it so it's really an interesting evo i think it's cool but I also think that there's a little bit to be desired with that. Check your club, though. If you have a Martinelli tradable, Gakpo like I had there, mine's untradable. I would sell them if I could. And then there's some informs like Matoma and Olise that are going crazy on the market in terms of prices because of that evolution. Yeah, I think that Evo is nice. I think it's cool. I think the Moment of Truth Evo that came out a couple days ago, though, that one is clear for sure. Um of the evo that we had yesterday so let's go to objectives and talk about that really fast because there's actually one thing i really need to point out inside of this first things first we have our daily play back for premier league team of the season again it is premier league tots daily play 80 times 5 78 double 81 double and an 80 double so the same rewards again here for completing five days of the daily play completionist you get yourself a tots guaranteed pack which some of us saved these from last week's daily play and opened them yesterday guys it is now confirmed that it is cards from the beginning of team of the season like the live cards were packable from that tots guarantee yesterday as well as all the cards that were put into packs like the prem tots women's super league and the mixed league so it's kind of like starting to, from the beginning of live team of the season up until whatever is currently out that is what is packable from this tots guaranteed pack um and so i guess maybe if you're able to get this on thursday of this upcoming week you might want to open it straight away because then it might add more players to the pool and you have a lesser of a chance of packing something big as we get further and further down the line that's just one thing to point out and i thought i'd mention that but it is of course nice to have this back and some packs back too that is a very nice objective we also had douglas louise who I think is, I don't know, nice card. If you did John McGinn, nice card here with Douglas Louise too. Link those up in the midfield. Four-star, four-star. He's got pinged pass, intercept, and Trivella. I just have a feeling he might just be somehow OP in game. He's center mid, center defensive mid, but he has high-low work rates. Might be better as a, as a center attacking mid. Um, yeah, just looks like a solid card all around. Good play styles and just solid so i'm i have nothing against that one i think it's pretty easy to do play 10 matches with three brazilians a lot of us probably will get that done with just our champs teams have five premier league players you're starting 11 so it takes a little bit of work but you do get some okay packs and you get some xp as a part of it as well so that is the objective section actually there is one thing i forgot under milestones football shirt friday this is out for the rest of the game uh you can basically get yourself a free bobby moore 
uh, Winter Wild Cards Icon card for using the Football Shirt Friday TIFO Badge XL theme and stadium theme. If you equip those, if you equip the TIFO, you can get this card. So at the very least, it's a 91 rated fodder more. Decent card, 99 dribbling. And uh, yeah, I think this is for a pretty good cause as well for the Bobby Moore fun. So that is a cool thing that EA dropped yesterday, kind of in remembrance of Bobby Moore and the uh, the fun there. And then uh, just honestly, some decent looking TIFOs and stuff like that in objective section. So that was the objective section there. Now, Let's talk about what everybody's excited about. The Premier League TOTS cards, the Women's Super League, and the Mixed League TOTS cards all in packs at once. Guys, we have so many cards in packs right now. I mean, we talked about it in yesterday's video. I was like, guys, there's probably going to be a ton of cards in packs. I don't think I was expecting it to be like this crazy. Guys, There's, if I counted correctly, there are 41 Team of the Season or Team of the Season Moments players in packs right now. I believe it's 41. If you count up Premier League, Women's Super League, and the moments cards including the mixed league right that is a ton of players and ea juiced these cards really really well i think they almost all have three playstyle pluses except for some of the cheaper ones and even the cheaper cards like this ben white for a hundred and ten thousand coins that is a cracking card a center back or right back insane card there for 110k ali watkins is solid i kind of figured that he was going to be cheap as well McAllister 120 he's cheap he looks good even gabrielle for 113k he's probably going to drop today but he looks good allison for 91,000 coins and then you go on to the women's super league team you've got charles who looks good greenwood who looks decent um the mccabe sbc sam kerr is better than her team of the year card with three play style pluses mallard looks incredible for 82k with those stats you go to the mixed league team you've got a insanely expensive and also cracked Di maria card you've got a desk that looks good conte and a 5-5 of course nani card with technical plus rapid and trivella what a team of players in packs like this is unbelievable man and the servers didn't even crash yesterday but they did last week i don't know how that was possible and how that happened but with all the cards in packs right now it is just like a frenzy to get into the store i opened a bunch of packs yesterday I had some luck. You can see the tots counter is up to 22. You might be asking like, Nate, who'd you pack? Well, my best pack pull yesterday was Allison. Not once, not twice, but three freaking times. I packed Allison three times. I packed Muslera three times. And I even packed the uh, goalkeeper from the Women's Super League uh, twice as well. I was packing so many goalkeepers it was crazy i did pack ben white as well tradable so that was a nice like 120k i'm gonna open 83 times 10 right now as well we do not get a blue um but with all of those packs that i was able to open i did so many exchange sbcs and completed so many sbcs like my club is just all duplicates right now so with that being said i did open the 650k pack in the store i got shafted uh, i would say don't open that pack wait for something else to come out because that pack was not good but this is the time of the year where i will be opening more store packs with coins because a we made well over a million coins yesterday on two cards um trading which gave us plenty of coins to open those packs and and b this is what we've been trading for right so the pack supply and before we kind of go into the market the pack supply on these cards they're packable like honestly i've so many people were tweeting me yesterday declan rice's and palmer's and when i look at this team i look at the prices of the players here and i'm like you know what I think it's actually pretty deep. I think EA did a good job with the pack weight, guys. Of course, VVD, Holland, they're crazy expensive. But like Palmer, 1.9 mil. Rice, 1.7 mil. There's a lot of cards that are like 1 to 2 mil. And I think I expected some of those to be more like 3 to 4 mil. And I know their stats are boosted, 3 play style pluses. I'm actually pretty content, I think. I think EA did a decent job with how much they boosted the cards with the 3 play style pluses and um, the pack weight, I think. You, they feel halfway packable guys and that's why i'm excited to grind upgrade packs this week especially with everything that is in packs even if you don't pack one of these insane players a lot of times like yesterday i was packing that allison card i finished off the Havertz sbc easily or maybe you pack somebody even like zellum 92 rated that's easy fodder greenwood 94 96 rated shaw is 274 000 coins 
people have been packing her usable card also insane for higher rated SBCs as a 96 rated and then you go into the mixed team where there is plenty of fodder for sure and you probably see these guys the most like Hernandez I packed twice yesterday uh Dreyer Hanko Muslera again my nemesis right now St. Juste with 95 pace like it is nice to have this many cards in packs because they seem very packable, and they, they honestly are. So I got to give props to EA for that. I'm sure a lot of you guys packed multiple of them yesterday, and it just gives you that desire to really want to grind the upgrade packs for maybe what you could pack fodder-wise and, of course, for those big high-tier ticket players as well. So let's talk about these prices a bit because you can see my coin total is low right now. I have purchased some cards, but yesterday was absolutely insane guys i bought Sokka for what did i buy him for 1.9 close to 1.9 flat i forget the exact price almost 1.9 million coins sold him for 2.7 million like literally an hour later i bought this foden for two point oh man what was it 2.73 sold him for 3.4 those are my two biggest trades yesterday but the market, like, that was how it was, guys. You can look at all of these graphs. Hyunmin's son was in the 1.7 range. He's 1.9 mil now. Yesterday, everything started off very cheap, and then it exploded. Sun went from 1.8 mil to 2.3. That's the kind of fluctuations that we were trading in. I just uh, actually picked up a Declan Rice for 1.75 because yesterday he was 1.7, went up to 2.2, and now he's back down to 1.7. Again, people are going to wake up today on Saturday uk time and want to play with these cards and play foot champs because once again as maybe some of you guys noticed yesterday during the video ea accidentally leaked these cards in the menus it's not loading right now i don't know why the menus aren't loading but they accidentally leaked these cards in the menus for foot champs rewards yeah they said compete in champions this week to unlock these red tots items yesterday uh while the video was out uh, i was recording i saw that um and you know that kind of happened but that is in beside itself um there's a lot of demand for these cards guys all of them the mixed league cards the barclays women's super league cards and their prices went up like crazy i think they're going to move even more today so watch out for the, some of these cards i picked up a saliba two salibas right around a million coins oh my goodness he's 1.06 after that undercut so that's nice he was 1.2 i'm thinking the rises into today could be good i actually picked up a phil foden for three million coins flat too so we've made multiple buys um i was looking at buying luis diaz as well for like 1.4 lows if i could get one that was a good price i thought 145 you know what i'm just going to pick that up because he was 1.8 mil i'm not expecting him to go all the way back to 1.8 but we have just been we, honestly it feels like we've had the hot hand trading recently and it's just because the market has been doing very good. I'm going to list that up for a lazy right now at 1.7. I don't think he's going to sell there, but um, I'm going to list that here in the next couple of hours and hopefully make some profit off of that as people wake up today. If you see prices that are low as you're watching this video, you're like, man, Nate, they're still down a lot from where they were yesterday. I think they could rise up not as high as they did yesterday. Like, I don't think Saliba's going to go to all the way to 1.25. I don't think that Cole Palmer is going to go back to 2.3 mil or even the Declan Rice that I bought at 1.75. I don't think he's going back here to 2.3 mil. Honestly, I think he could go back up to 2 million coins, right? He'd go back up a little bit because there's going to be more lightning rounds. I think there's lightning rounds going on right now. These prices of these cards are going to fluctuate a lot because there's so much demand. That's one thing you have to know for these cards, guys, is they are going to move a ton because so many people want to use them. It's just, it's the best cards in this game right now. And they're decent, affordable prices um, that people have been selling cards for the last couple of months in this game to kind of prepare for this moment and prepare for these cards. So that is why there's going to be a lot of movement on them. They probably will go up, but then I think they will come down close to content just kind of keep an eye on the market because they're going to fluctuate a lot. But if you want one for your team for the long term, this is probably not the time to buy. This would be like, go use it, play some champs games, get the rewards you can get, and then try to not hold on to the card for too long. Now, I know I just talked a lot about those TOTS cards. I didn't even mention the moments for the Premier League guys. Um, and Kunku, Garnacho, De Bruyne, the Luis Diaz that I just picked up, they're fluctuating like crazy as well. Um, this Nkunku card is very packable. And I think he's got a lot of hype, too. I could see him rising up today. Even if you're in a lower budget, you're like, Nate, I can't afford Declan Rice. 
um, by Ben White, by McAllister. The same thing happened with these guys. I think uh, Ollie Watkins was like 70K, and now he's 56,000 coins. People are going to wake up even up on lower budgets and want to go try players like an Nkunku, like a Ben White, like an Ali Watkins. So those will be moving today and probably some of the mixed leagues, Tots cards as well. Just be careful because those will fluctuate. Now, the rest of the market, honestly, with the Tots cards being as, I guess you could say, like hyped and as packable as they were, the rest of the market is not doing that hot. Some cards are doing good. Bisek is up a lot. You can see 635K. He is moving upwards very well. St. Max is down bad. Romero was 700K. Now he's down. Loftus Cheek has gone back up a little bit. But like as I'm looking around a lot of the market, some of the cards that I expected to go up yesterday, even as Premier League links to the rest of the team, like this Park Ji Sung, he's not up that much at all. Harry Kuehl is in fact down. And it feels like with so many Tots cards being released on this game right now, and yesterday, a lot of the market is just kind of like, doesn't know what to it doesn't know what to do in, in in a sense that there's so many cards out people are just trying all the new stuff and the stuff that from you know foot birthday and the Golasso promos yeah some cards here and there are going up and a couple of cards did really well yesterday out of packs like i flipped a uh fantasy tevez tevez i bought at 1.05 and sold him for 1.25 basically it was on my transfer list oh my goodness he's back down again at 1.14 like the fluctuations are very very good um but at the same time other cards are just kind of kind of like stopping their movements as well i would be careful on other cards non-team of the season related just because i feel like there could be maybe even a little bit of a market like not a crash but a little bit of a correction because so many people if we keep getting tots cards via sbcs over the next day or two so many people are just going to look to using these new cards and forgetting about the old ones because these new three play style plus cards are kind of pushing the meta up to a whole nother level. So again, I'm not saying I'm expecting these cards to crash. Maybe the same thing with like ultimate birthdays and stuff like that. I'm just saying I don't think I expect them to go up as much as I originally did before. Now, again, as I look through some of these prices and I, and I say that some of them are doing very well. Um, let's see, like this Varan still doing OK. Uh, the, the Millie Tao foot birthday that I just saw there, he's doing very, very good. Declan Rice, this version is up. Um, but then some other ones like that Chiesa is down. That Luis Diaz is down because he got a new card today, right? Um, I think that, where's Ramirez? Ramirez Fantasy was down. You know, there's cards all over the market doing all so sorts of things. But I think it might cool off a bit as we get more Tots cards. So that's one thing I'd be very careful in. But I did mention an investment, guys. And I want to talk about an investment. Here I am with 99,000 coins broke as a joke risky flipping tops cards fodder fodder just like last week i think is going to be a buy i think it's going to be a purchase price here guys on bid look at the state of 88 rated they are seven thousand coins they were seven thousand coins flat i think that was kind of their low point try to get these on bid guys try to get these cards on bid they went from 8.7 down to 7k i could see 88 rated back at 8k by like Monday or Tuesday. I think this is a good investment in the low 7K range. I even if it's not like you're going to go invest all out, just put a couple in your club. You're going to save yourself a whole bunch of headache later on down the week when there's other SBCs that you want to do because all of us are opening packs right now. We have fodder. We're starting SBCs. We're completing stuff. You're going to need some other cards to get it done, whether it's just for that or if you want to make an investment and try to make some coins off it. I think 86s to 88s are the play. They're down so much. And look at 89s. 89s are 19,000 coins and 88s are 10K less per card. That is so cheap. So I would stock some 86s, 7s, and 8s, um, maybe even a couple of 85s as well, under 3K. I think it's just little to no risk because I think fodder over the next week and maybe even two weeks could continue to slowly rise up as we have more SBCs released, more cards people are crafting, and less saved up packs to be opened where people are just like getting all that fodder. Yesterday was the day that people opened up saved up packs, myself included, and just got all the fodder in their club. And now they're going to start running out of it as they do SBCs and as we get more SBCs released. So I think that's a really good investment. I just mentioned again with Team of the Season and Fodder, do I want to invest in Team of the Season cards yet for them to rise? I think it's too early for that still. I think it's too early, boys. Um, maybe towards the middle of this week, 
it's always a good practice to do a club stock. But if we're getting all of these team of the season cards this year, men's and women's teams with the mixed leagues at the same time, there's going to be plenty of team of the season cards to go and go around. They're giving us a guaranteed tots pack every week for the daily play. I don't think we're going to run out of team of the seasons um, or team of the weeks in our club. If you're crafting and opening packs to the menus, not quick selling duplicates and rinsing those duplicates into like the 83 plus team of the week and stuff like that. So I don't think I would invest in team of the season cards right now. Maybe there's a point where we can. Probably there is going to be a point where we can. I just don't think that is going to be right now. That's one thing I wanted to mention. They'll probably go a little bit lower today unless we get some sort of big time SBC. Now let's talk about today because <laughs> there is a big time SBC that has been leaked. It's a name that people thought they were going to see in the team of the season team that was dropped in packs yesterday and he was not added in but now he is leaked it is odegaard guys odegaard is coming as a team of the season sbc soon and with soon in my opinion this is today or this is tomorrow it's going to be a saturday or sunday odegaard day in my opinion 100 percent and i think this card will be one that a lot of people want to do. Arsenal, getting the love, right? We had uh, Havertz last week, arguably like the best SBC we've had thus far of Team of the Season. And now we're going to have ourselves an Odegaard as well. Um, this could be a really, really good SBC. A lot of people are going to be hyped for him. He had the Centurions SBC earlier on in the year. That was a very, very good card. And a lot of people got that SBC done. I think a lot of people are going to want to do this Odegaard card as well. Also because he links to like half of the team of the season squad. Again, the cheap players too. Rice, Saliba, Gabriel, and Ben White. He links to like almost everybody. So that's a big leak. I'm guessing that's going to be today. If I had to pick between today and tomorrow, I'm going to say today. Again, if you want to invest for this, 86 is the 88s. Get them in your club. There might even be 90 rated squads in this. So maybe you do need to go and stock. You know, one of the cheapest 91s like uh, Russo or Keating, they are literally like 10K cheaper than the other 91s that are on this game. So maybe you go ahead and stock one or two of those because with how cheap fodder is, EA has to require higher rated squads to uh, get those SBC prices where they want them. So I think that could be coming out today. But then also to help craft that SBC, we have an upgrade pack SBC that's expiring today. That is the 86 times 2 Last week, we were we were excited for this, but also a little bit underwhelmed. I wonder what's going to replace this today. Saturdays are upgrade pack days now. It's like Saturdays and Mondays. What are we going to get today? Will the 8310 come back? Will the 847 come back? I think that's the one that I'm hoping for. 847 for a really good chance of packing team of the years, but also having more of those 84s in your club to craft other SBCs. Will the 82 times 11 major leagues upgrade come back too? We don't know. I'm really looking at these two upgrade pack SBCs today as a potential SBC to come out. Maybe make fodder move a little bit. Maybe not that much, but maybe a little bit. Um, again, that's another shout for informs because if they require informs or tots cards in that, people could be putting informs into that um, and they maybe do go up a little bit on the market, but I just don't think I want to risk it right now with those being 30K and the cheapest tots cards on the market literally being uh, 18, 19,000 coins. So uh, just excuse me, 14,000 coins for team of the season cards, not 18K because we have the 88 rated in there, 13K for the cheapest team of the season. So to me, that does not seem super worth it right now. But you never know. I think we will get some sort of upgrade pack SBC today. I think those are the two main things to watch for. The upgrade pack SBC and the Odegaard player SBC. Now, the other thing to watch out for is going to be store packs. I know I have cards in my own assigned because I opened that 83 times 10. But I think there's a 100% chance today of us getting that double team of the season guaranteed Premier League pack today. And that's going to be a pack that as well probably takes some coins off the market. Think about it. I opened a store pack with coins yesterday. There's going to be a lot more people right now doing that exact same thing just because it is team of the season and some of these absolutely insane cards feel packable and they're out in the game right now for us to chase. So yeah, guys, team of the season is here. It feels it feels so good to finally open packs. Um, I can't lie. Crafting yesterday, I did so many exchange SBCs um, and I packed so many TOTS cards. I just want to see that blue flare. And I'm really excited to put the grind in over the next couple of days. Crafting with the player picks, player SBCs that come out, hitting those. And uh, of course, trying to get some foot champs games in and get some of these rewards. Those red picks, I can't imagine they're going to be that great because they do include the moments cards too. But you know how the red picks are, right? A little watered down. But you never know what you could get 
from a red pick in champs. Oh, ho, ho. 89 Ruben Diaz. Welcome to the club. Do your player picks. That's your sign right there. Now, if you have any questions from yesterday, guys, drop them down below in the comments. And um, yeah, it was a really exciting stream yesterday. It was so much fun hanging out with you guys. We were able to give away a team of the season card to the community, uh, to one lucky viewer. That was the surprise that we mentioned in yesterday's video. That was an absolute blast to do. I will not be streaming today because I have a really, really busy weekend this weekend. It's unfortunate, but it's just the way the schedule falls. Um, and I will hopefully see you guys um, on a stream in the, maybe on Sunday. If not, then we'll definitely see you for a YouTube video tomorrow and see what comes out on day two of Premier League team of the season today on Saturday. So again, if you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. And of course, comment down below who you packed. I want to know if you pack something sick, tweet me. I always say that that link is in the description as well. Tweet me if you pack a sick tots card. All right, guys, it's been Nathan with Accountant. Good luck in your champs and enjoy your weekend. Peace.